Hi, I'm Katie. I'm going to teach you how to play clocks by the band Coldplay. And as soon as you learn this, you will be very happy because you'll be able to show off to all your friends at parties and they'll be so impressed. All right, let's learn the verse chords and the intro chords first. I'll teach you the left hand first. We have E flat to B flat minor, that looks like this. Now notice I'm not playing a B flat in the bass though. This is an inversion of the chord, so the F is in the bass, but it is still a B flat minor chord. Another B flat minor to F minor again. Oh, not again. First time we had F minor, then it repeats. E flat, B flat minor, B flat minor again to F minor. Okay? And now the part you've been waiting for the right hand. Okay, let's go over those notes. It's E flat, B flat, G, again, E flat, B flat, G, E flat, B flat. Okay, next measure is D flat, B flat, F. D flat, B flat, F. See, it's really repetitive. D flat, B flat. Okay, so let's put the, that's the first half of the intro. Let's put it together. It goes like this. E flat, B flat, G, E flat, B flat, G, E flat, B flat, D flat, B flat, F, D flat, B flat, F, D flat, B flat. Ooh, a lot of flats. Coldplay loves flats, okay? So just deal with it. All right, let's, uh, the next half of the intro is D flat, B flat, F, oh, it's still the same, D flat, B flat, F, D flat, B flat, and now F minor, you're just outlining the F minor chord, C, A flat, F, C, A flat, F, C, A flat, all right, let's put the hands together, do you remember the chords? Probably not, I'm going to tell them again anyway, okay, E flat in the left hand, here we go, put them together, one, two, ready, go. section B flat minor to F minor I think they do it a little bit faster they, their tempo is like one 130 BPM so it'd be more like and notice how I'm accenting um, the, the one two three Four. Okay, it just gives it a little more, a little more passion and oomph when you Okay, repeat, repeat. Okay, here's the second part of the intro. The right hand does the same thing. The left hand just goes down to the bass notes. And all you have to do is play the, no the bass note of the chord. So instead of playing the whole chord, you just play E flat, B flat, F, and then back to E flat. So it's going to go like this. Okay, now we're to our verse. Now I'm going to put the chords into my right hand, and I'm just going to play the bass notes in my left hand. Okay, so we're going to move that E flat chord up to the right hand. So the chords, let's go over the chords again. It's just going to be E flat, B flat for two measures. Ooh, and then we have F minor and back to E flat. Okay, now I'm going to teach, those are the, the beginner version of the chords, and I'm going to teach you the, the advanced beginner chords. They look like this. You'll have to see my hands to do it. So we have E flat for four counts. Now B flat at 11. Here's your 11th right here. So here's your B flat, excuse me, B flat minor chord and add this E flat on the top for the 11th. Again, now to F minor seven, looks like this. Back to E flat. B flat minor at 11, it looks like this. B flat minor at 11 again to F minor seven. 
Okay, let me show you how that goes in time with the music so you can kind of get a feel for it. Let's see, lights go, yep. One, two, here we go. Lights go down and I can't be tamed, saved, whatever the words are. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> lights go, <laughs> say the right words, okay. Lights go down and I can't be saved. Tides I tried to swim against. Put me down upon my knees. Oh, I beg and beg and please. Saying E flat to B minor, at 11, B minor at 11, to F minor 7. E flat to a B minor at 11, B minor at 11, to F minor 7. Now let's go to our, um, I guess you could call it a chorus. It's a very short chorus the first time. And you just play it like the like the intro. So you're just gonna go, um and now let's add the words to it where he goes, you ah, uh, goes like this. verse again so we've already gone over the verse so then comes back to another chorus and on the second chorus uh, it goes a little bit longer so let's go over that so the first part of the chorus is the same what we've just learned the um, you, that ah uh, that part and then after that let's see it goes into this is a new section you're gonna have the chord is E flat and so you can just play E flat in your left hand in your right hand you're gonna want to play a flat, G, E flat, A flat, G, E flat, A flat, G. Probably easier if you just if you just watch the pattern. Okay, that's the whole pattern and you play it three times. So basically what you need to remember is that the first two notes are always a flat and G, and then it's the next note that changed. So we always start with A flat, G, and then the first one, E flat. Okay, so let's go over that pattern again. Let's, let's watch that pattern again. to the bridge and this part's a little different your first chord is G flat major 7 I told you Coldplay loves flats who puts G flat in the song it's like are you serious okay so G flat major 7 looks like this and that's two bars of that and then you go to D flat D flat looks like this and then you have A flat 6 like this Okay, and here's your, this is how you do it. A flat, regular A flat chord. Right there, that's your six. Okay, so this is your bridge. It goes, let's play it in time. It goes like this. And nothing else compares. Dun, dun, dun. And nothing else compares. And nothing else compares. That's three times, so let's go on now. What happens after that? Ah, yes. Now we go from, it's kind of interesting, G flat major seven, and now we're gonna add a ninth in. Back to G flat major seven, take away the ninth. Now put the ninth back in. So that's four bars of that. So you have uh, one, co one chord per, per bar. So it's just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, G flat major seven, G flat major nine. Okay, now we are back to our uh, last chorus and you play the intro going into it like this. This is what we already learned at the beginning. Just like the intro.
repeat it. Okay, now here's a little bit different part. Go back to, uh, actually a part that we've already learned, but it comes back in. E flat in the bass, right hand is gonna play that pattern up here that we already learned. Repeat it. One more time. Home, home, where I want to go. I can't sing that low. <laughs> you get it. You know how it goes. <laughs> where I wanted to go. <laughs> okay, now here's your ending. <laughs> we have E flat in the left hand again to uh, B flat minor seven. B flat minor seven again. So see, this is just like the intro except the right hand's a little bit different. To F minor is your last chord, and you're gonna just repeat it and fade out. So your right hand is gonna play this pattern, the yeah, that pattern, and your left hand will play the verse chords like this. Here's how it goes. Okay, let's, I'll call out the chords. E flat, B flat minor seven, Again, B flat minor seven, F minor seven. <laughs> One more time. E flat. B flat minor seven, B flat minor seven. Okay, and then you just kind of fade it out. And of course I slowed down at the end for dramatic emphasis. All right, so if you learn to play this song, if you're a beginner and you can only do that right hand pattern, it's still a cool party trick. People will be like, oh, wow, well, you can play clocks, it's so cool, man. So yeah, even if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't put two hands together, that's crazy. Just learn the, just learn the right hand, the. Everyone knows that. See, right away, you know what this song is. But the best way to practice, uh, if you're not an expert, which most of us are not, is hands separately first. I always tell my piano students, hands separately first. And the ones who really progress are the ones that have the patience to practice hands separately several times. And then, once you've got each one, each hand separately down to your muscle memory, then, see, I already messed it up. I didn't practice hands separately. Then, and only then, Put them together. Okay, good luck. This is a really fun song to play once you have it down and you'll remember it the rest of your life. And if you would like to learn more Coldplay songs, just click on any of the videos on your screen.